On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we're going to have a serious discussion for all ages and collectors of the heroes of Gujitsu line, Deep Blue Sea. We have King Hydra on the table versus the ultra rare. How did I find an ultra rare Exo Shock Crunchy guy? What what are the odds of finding an ultra rare? That's a difficult task, but so I have. We'll discuss these great figures, take a look at their features, the anxiety relief, the fidgetness of these great figures for everyone, anyone who wants to see a very fun and great entertaining item. Last time we had these in a fish tank, this time we'll go through the collection dry above the deep blue sea. Squirrel, Squirrel Stampede! stampede. It's King Hydra on the table. What do you think about that, Squirrels? Yeah, probably one of the largest heroes of Gujitsu on the table yet. I know we did a super massive Blazagon at some point. And there's been Hulkish figures out there too and giant Spider-Man. But King Hydra also takes the cake and probably eats three slices. This is, of course, from the Deep Goo Sea collection and boasts three-in-one goo power, which is stretchy, squishy, and gooey. I almost read that as goofy. As always, great attention to packaging detail. I know for those crazy collectors who do not unbox their heroes of Gujitsu, this one will stand pretty tall and strong in box as display. Love the back carded imagery there. And there is a try me window if you were one of those people to just leave and pack. This side is definitely squishy. This one here is gooey. No wait, this one here is gooey. This one here is stre- no that's stretchy. Definitely stretchy. This one, squishy. Over on the back of the box, quick image of King Hydra. Ruler of the Deep Goosey, King Hydra is the most powerful hero in the universe. Tell that to He-Man. With a trio of unique goo fillings, he launches the ultimate three-pronged attack using his golden trident. Oh, I like the weapon. Max Stretch here says 32 inches. I don't know if I can get that far, but that's pretty impressive though. And others available to collect Fugu. That's one I just cannot find. All right, let's get this massive triple goo pack King Hydra out of pack. Wow, what? Wow, where to start with this one? Amazing, triple goo power. I've never seen anything like it. We've seen double goo power last time, but now it's triple goo power, three layers. And it feels, it feels so weird because you've got like the thick honey goo on this side, the super stretchy. You got the water beads in the center, which always give it kind of a mushy feel. Uh, kind of a round, squishy, jello-y fill. And then you've got the just squishy uh, water, that really cool mixture of metallic coloring inside. So pretty impressive. Funny how this purple side is a little heavy because of the weight of the goo, the honey goo, I like to call it. And then this side here, a little lighter, but still, wow. And they're closer up the division. Let's see if we can get him to growl. And it does light up. The water beads. Oh, that's so weird. It's like a perfect LED flash inside there. What happens with the lights turned down? Turned down a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's weird, they like sparkle. It's a dance party inside King Hydra. Oh, that's so weird and cool. So a fantastic little effect there in the insides of Hydra. So as we just heard, each head features something interesting. Obviously center stage is the growl. Light up effects. And like Heroes of Gujitsu, Dino, was it Braxor, the Brontosaurus with the extension neck? We have that feature back, always a fun one for heightening. Also opening and closing mouth, but do be careful. Uh, with these because these can be dented so easily so you you do not want to rough and tough I recommend oh he's growling again I recommend and now he's stomping you done yet King Hydra uh, I recommend always keeping the extension uh, smashed in that way if uh, if it was extended like this someone could step on it or it could just get kinked and it would be really hard to fix so be careful with those but a really cool feature and over on the purple side We've got a projectile, of course, loaded already. Let's see if we can get a fire up at the top of this fin here. Watch out, uh, King Squirreldra. Oh, whoa! Oh! That 
thing like ricocheted off my phone. Pretty good strength on that. Oh, took out strawberry on the King Hydra and the Squirrel Hydra and I totally lost the projectile. I'm gonna have to look for that in for a second. So also we have a really cool accessory, the Trident piece. It fits right into the goo hand, which is the perfect hand because the goo hand has a little more structure to it. Uh, it'll really grip tight to this full Trident accessory. And also a golden skirt, which you can remove and I'll just leave on to stay modest. Nice tail on the back here and finish coming about. So King Hydra is absolutely impressive. What do we, what do we got for scale and height? King Hydra measures a whopping nine and a half inches or so with these little things coming up and about, you know, eight inches wide. So it's a pretty, pretty intensive weighted Heroes of Gujitsu figure. So spectacular, like always. I wish they would stand is my only kind of drawback. I need to find a stand option for this guy because he's always going to want to lean. Whoa, lean over a little bit, but we'll move on to the next find. And behold, the ultra rare Exoshock Hero Pack. I can't believe I found one. I typically find the ultra rare later on in the release towards the end, say like in a Walmart bin during Christmas time or just at a random location. I suppose this was a random location find. It was not with the Heroes of Gujitsu at Target. It was on a shelf placed awkwardly next to like the Mario and Sonic items which I would typically look for, so it, it fell right into the best place. I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. I figured, oh, this Exoshock guy, just another basic. And then I started thinking, wait a minute, that's an ultra rare. This card might just have the best illustration I've ever seen on a Heroes of Gujitsu figure. Look at the card art here. It's incredibly cool. Exoshock's eyes popping out, and we've got this incredible, gruesome looking, transparent look inside the claw. You can see all these like gooey, like mandible-y thingies moving about. I don't know, what am I talking about? Crunchy effect inside, all these little crunch pellets. Just sinister look on his eyes. It pops so well, the deep goosey figures. I just made fun of the people who do not open their Gujitsus. This would be one that I would really not want to open. It looks so well in pack, but I'm gonna open it. I got to. If I somehow run into just one more next year, maybe then, maybe I would leave one in pack. And back to the collection available, Blazagon Fugu. I just can't find Fugu yet. I know he's back ordered on Amazon, but I know people have found them on shelf. Obviously, they're all available right now. Uh, Ultra Rare Exoshock, there he is, center stage. Mantara we'll see today. Squidor and Thrash we saw last time in the fish tank, if you want to review that. Plus some interesting fine print. Oh man, do I really have to open this now? It's seriously one of the best packed Gujitsu figures I've seen ever. You see this on shelf, dive for it. Totally dive for it. <coughs> oh, check it out. It's underwater crustacean squirrel. Even underwater crustacean squirrel is totally attracted to the ultra rare Exoshock hero pack. All right, very well, I've delayed long enough. Let's get this out. I really do wanna see the eye pop attack. Bouncy. Oh, and he stands. This may be the best Gujitsu figure ever. Seriously ever. One of the biggest drawbacks of the Gujitsu collection is the inability to stand most of all, pretty much all the characters. Every once in a while there's one with a little sand or maybe some weighted honey that are given a little bit of the ability to stand on their own, but they don't. They typically fall over, making it really impossible to do a full nice display shelf of them without some sort of really heavy rigging to keep them standing upright. Uh, so usually I just take all my Gujitsus and put them in like a nice open bin so that people can come by and like pick up a few, squeeze them, play with them, and have fun. But this one you could stand. Man, I need like a hundred of these. Too bad they're ultra rare. Really quite interesting looking, an orange shell of a body, the squishy shell with, of course, eyes that pop out. Like, uh, kind of like uh, Masters of the Universe, uh, uh, what's his name, Mantena in a way, double eyes. It's like a double stress ball type of thing, and I like how his claw like wiggles about too. That is pretty pretty fun and enjoyable. Boop, 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 boop. What do we got for goo filling? It's hard to tell. Gotta really squeeze in here. Okay, it's like those little uh, beads, not beads, but 
plastic rice fillings, like beanies. Beanies, probably, uh, if you were to take these out and put in a plush toy, I bet you that's the same material. And so that is super, super satisfying in there. I wonder, the others have had objects inside. It's a little trickier to see inside here what it could be. Oh, wait, wait. There's a little, oh, there's a crab in there. I think I found a crab. It's like way, way at the bottom. If I squish him low. Try to squish it down. Oh, I lost him. But there is a little yellow crab inside. Trying to isolate, trying to isolate. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing what I have seen? Like a little crab guy, full of uh, beads right now. There he is, there he is. So inside, if you could look around, it's nice and yellow, so it's easy to see. There's actually a couple critters deep inside here. Uh, there's a pink purple fish I found, and I swear I found some coral in there and a blue star, but they've moved away. They're so tricky to find. So this one is definitely a fun, long-term squish, find, reveal figure. Look inside. There is a star. It is. It has disappeared. There's a piece of coral. Uh, they move around so easily. I keep getting the orange, pink fish. Excuse me, pink fish. Uh, but there's several things in here. I really wish I could find that blue star. <gasps> right there. Right there. Have a second. Have a second. Oh. No, I lost it. I saw it for half a second. I swear to you, it's in there. I swear, there's the piece of coral. There's the piece of coral. It's not a crab. It's it's just a goop of, of uh, undersea coral. And the star. My, my hands are too tired. They can't do it. There, right there. Blue star. Blue star, do you see it? Right there. It's hard to see. We found it. One of the hardest find, One of the hardest things to find in here. It's tiny. It's like a... Oh, I lost it. It's like a lucky charm, just disappears. I guess he has pretty much the same footprint as uh, Oculus here. Octonaut, what was this guy's name again? Um, he's starting to lose a little bit of his goo inside. Uh, but kind of the same thing with the leg feature that gives him the standing ability and the eye poppingness. And this one here was what, a year or two ago? Not sure if the video is still up. I had to take a few down because they kept getting labeled as only for kids and they're not. Seriously, collectors buy these, but totally keep an eye out for Exoshock, total rare. Oh, and I think I see in the illustration there, I think that's the little crab filling. Yeah, I see it now. That's the little mini crab they're featuring inside. It almost looked like intestines or something. So a really fantastic hero pack to look for. One other hero pack today. I was able to obtain a Mantara. Mantara or Mantera? What would you say? I have not watched the recent show to catch up at all. I'm just more interested in the figures. They're so stress relieving. Actually, another great card art for this one. What do you think about that? Not as eye popping as Exoshock, but maybe surprise spit in the face with Mantara? And I like the hands. Look at the hands. They're so textured and gooey and a little bit of glowiness to them. That's probably highlighting what's inside. It looks green or something. Mentara also has a pretty cool cape because of the manta ray feature. That works well. And water blast attack. So let's see this one out of pack. Out of pack, Mentara. And I kind of want to say right away, I was not looking forward to this figure. I did not think it looked very good on, on the available collection guide. But now out of pack, I'm quite impressed with this one. I think it's the metallic shiny outer skin. It looks really good, almost knight-like. A knight in shining armor. Maybe they're going with that too. And then you've got that manta ray cape. It's also a very nice touch. A uh, little thick, heavy plastic there, plastic belt. But really, really impressive. I, I definitely will take back my hesitation for picking up this figure and now would recommend it. Surely so. A uh, head feature would spray water if you filled with water. And then for goo feature, I'm looking at purple water beads. Kind of hard to see every light is reflecting on this one, but a purple, maybe a, a blue and purple water bead inside. I think we've got a couple colors of beads. And oh, there's our, there's our critter. It's an ant, what is it, an octopus? Me thinks it's an octopus. What do you think? Do you see an octopus in there? Is that what you're seeing too? I see an octopus. 
if I can get my camera to want to focus in on it, it's really hard to get a good view of this. I believe that's an octopus. That is really fun. Really fun and red. So Mantera totally redeems as a good figure and of course, though will not really stand, has those webbed feet. It even stands. Look at that. Look at that. I even got this one to stand. So that's extra points for Mantera. So excellent look at Mantera. One last figure pack to look at. Last time in the fish tank, we took a look at the two-in-one goo power Tyro with the really heavy goo blue side, hammerhead shark side, and the uh, metallic red side filling with claw that you press in and it extends and extra stretch because of their size. Awesome little astronaut underwater helmet. Really cool guy. Uh, really hard to stand with this one. Actually, let's check out Havoc Hammerhead of the Beast Labs. Check out the Beast Labs review. That thing went insane. Thank you everyone for watching that. We hit 100,000 views in a day. That has not happened in a long time. Uh, there we have Hammerhead. Uh, have a hammerhead with a hammerhead arm there on these two. So I just I wanted to show these two together. Also, just the scale. Here's the scale of a Beast Labs again with a Heroes of Gujitsu figure. So we're gonna see more of Beast Lab for sure. Uh, everyone just super enjoyed that video, and I want to give a big thanks to everyone for watching that again. I have not seen that level of excitement in a toy. Oh man, in years, in years, and some of that has to do with algorithms. But the other two-in-one goo pack, it's bowel breath. We almost accidentally opened this last time I grabbed it. I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't the one I wanted to do. I wanted to save this one, but this one's also incredible to see. We've got crunch power on one side, and on the other, we've got eel pop attack. And also more fantastic card art. Since I was submerging things in a fish tank last time, I wasn't able to really appreciate the beautiful card art on all these Deep Goosey figures. This one, just perfect with the like disgusting eel coming out of his arm and this arm spiking out with whatever that is. Is that like a narwhal? What, what is that? Uh, so fantastic card art on these and less OCD box damage of a fish tank, right? So two of these available for the two-in-one goo power. Let's open up, see what it looks like. And bull breath out of pack. Funny, I keep wanting to call him bowel breath, bowels or something, but bull breath, the correct naming. Out of pack, another two-in-one power pack. These, along with King Hydra, have been so fun because of that weird seam across the center. How they are able to build these, I'm not exactly sure yet. Uh, this side, back to those, uh, beanies, uh, plastic beanies inside, submerged in ooze, and then this side, a metallic, a metallic shimmer. I love how it just flows, just flows and swirls about. And this part right here just highlights how much these figures are designed for everyone, for a stress relieving uh, fidget experience of just perfection. These are fun, the eel attack, look at that. I mean, take one of these with you on a trip, on a road trip, or to somewhere really boring and you need to fidget and they're totally uh, stress relieving. Uh, this is kind of fun. Oh wow, let's get in close on this one. If my focus will let me. Look at the, oh that is so weird and actually kind of grotesque. Um, that is so cool, just watching the swirl versus the bead. Swirl versus bead. It's gonna blow out his belt there. I don't think there's any pets inside on these, any candy or surprise monsters inside. I keep wanting to call them pets, but uh, it used to be candy. That's just a swirliness. I think the main feature is this eel, eel thing that extends. Look at the helmet too. The helmet's on these pretty crazy cool as you have a two-faced character inside with the ring neck. Really quite, quite impressive. Hard shell there. Hard shell there. So lots of new creative energy in the two-in-one goo power packs. Bringing back Tyro one more time as we didn't get to see Tyro too close in that fish tank. Heavy ooze. I want to do this trick like I just did with Bow Breath. Squeezing these two sides together. You got that metallic crazy. Oh, that just, that's bloody almost. It's just almost traumatic injury look. And then this side just is heavy, heavy. Very nice. So these two have been a lot more fun than say the two, uh, there are the double packs still available and they're often like a Blazagon in a different uh, color patch with a secondary figure 
Uh, there's another figure pack too, double figure packs. Those packs are fun, but I found like I found that these would be a better a better release of awesomeness of goo to test out. So that's why I went with those instead of the double packs this time. Oh, and let's bring back Hydra actually one more time. The triple, the triple goo feature. Look how big he is compared to to the double goo and then just your basic figure. So you can see there's quite a scale difference in this deep goo series. It has been a blast of a series. Oh, they of course fall over. One more time with Blazagon. There's Blazagon, your hero pack. Uh, we dipped him in the fish tank. Maybe I can, oh, he's still got some water oozing out of his head. Oh, look at this. How about that for holding up? We've got Thrash here. Thrash can kind of lean him back. This is how you would stand them on a shelf, mind you without them, and then in the middle of the night they'd all just flump down and scare the heck out of you. Um, and then Squidor here has been, oh, Squidor was fun. I think they did well with the Deep Goosey collection, all of them. Now I just have to find a Fugu sometime, and if I find a Fugu uh, outside of this review, I will drop him in maybe a future upcoming Beast Labs review or a Treasure X review, some sort of moose review. If I find a Fugu, I'm definitely going to pick up because I'm so close to completing the wave, except for the double packs, which I think I will pass. But an absolutely fun, interesting time with this collection. Did I ever find his projectile? I thought I did. I thought I found it. There it is, there's his projectile. That thing went far. That thing went really far. It was like right in my face. Oh, oh, did that hit the camera? I'm so sorry. Yeah, right in our face. Very good on that one. And then of course the extension neck. And one more time with the light up growl feature. King Hydra and Exo Shock, plus a few others from Deep Blue Sea. What do you think about this great Gujitsu collection? If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, scorelibe, squamit, your favorite character of this series. There are a lot packed in. Don't forget, we also have the Squirrel Stampede merch now. We've got some t-shirts, sweaters, uh, weird questionable water bottles, and a plush Landry. Thank you so much for watching today. That's what I have to say about that.